Hi, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to improve your click-through rates inside of Google. This is a really important topic. If you can take your click-through rate from 10% to 20%, then you're going to be getting a lot more traffic on those individual impressions that come in. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So first, what is a click-through rate? Well, a click-through rate is how many times somebody clicks on something as after seeing it a certain amount of time. So if you have 100 impressions and you have a 2% click-through rate, that means out of the 100 people, 2% of people clicked on it, and that resulted in two visitors for your website. Of course, the most important thing is, is what happens next. You know, Does that person eventually turn into a conversion? So it's important that you have a high click-through rate and then you also have a high conversion rate because that's how you run your online business, right? So when we're looking at improving click-through rates, um, one of the main ways you can do this and the most important thing is to first get a baseline. So if you go inside of Google Search Console, Google Search Console has a report that's gonna show you the pages that you have inside of Google and what the click-through rate is for those pages and what the keywords are that those pages are ranking for and how many times those keywords have been clicked on. So the most, most important thing is to look at the pages, look at the click-through rate for those pages and the keywords associated with those pages, determine a baseline, and then try to determine which pages have a really good click-through rate and then which pages have a really bad click-through rate. Those ones that have a really good click-through rate, take a look at them and try to think, why do these pages have such a great click-through rate? And for the ones that have a really bad one, um, put those into another bucket because those are going to be the ones that you're going to want to improve. So once you know the ones that you're going to want to improve, a great thing to do is look at your AdWords ads. Try to find out the ads that you have that have actually the best click-through rates on them. Take a look at those and then also take a look at the pages inside of Google Search Console that have the highest click-through rates. Try to figure out the similarities between the two and then look at the specific content that you have that isn't performing as well and develop a series of titles and descriptions that are gonna be uh, able to be showed up in Google. So actually the title and the description are the things that are pulled from the code of your website that show up in Google and try to determine how are you going to write better titles, write better descriptions so that you can potentially improve your click-through rate. Once you've done that, and you've written the better titles and descriptions, do a fetches Google bot through Google Search Console. That's gonna allow those to be, get picked up, that's gonna allow those to show up in Google, and so you'll actually know that that content has been indexed and Google is able to actually test to, um, you're actually able to see if, if the information val showing up in the Google Search Console click-through rate report is gonna be valid for a test. So once you have that in there, keep in mind that Google Search Console is always has a little bit of a lag. So it's gonna couple, take a couple days, um, even once it gets indexed and starts showing up correctly to see um, whether or not the click-through rates have improved. Once you know that you have the right information in the index, make sure you put an annotation inside of Google Analytics so that you can save that information. And you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on it and look at your period over period report inside of Google Search Console. So once it's indexed, you look at the click-through rates before and the click-through rates after. It's best if you kind of run the report for a couple weeks. You wanna have at least a, a thousand or a couple thousand uh, visitors worth of data on that to make sure that your results aren't skewed. But if you see improvements on what you changed, that's a really good indicator that you can take that and those changes that you made and roll them out to other titles and other descriptions on uh, your website as well. Another couple important things to think about in regards to click-through rates is that many times titles and descriptions are written on websites on a template by template basis. So individual pages might have their own unique titles and descriptions, but categories will have a, a template that's used on every single one of them. So if that's the case, Making some changes to that template can have a dramatic impact on click-through rates for you throughout your entire section of that website. So it can really result in a lot more traffic. In addition to that, inside of Google Search Console, they have a report that shows rich snippets. So a rich snippet is something that shows when Google pulls out information from your site and choose, chooses to display it in a little bit of a different way. 
They might show pricing, they might show review information, uh, et cetera. In many cases, this is done because you're using schema.org on the page and Google has determined that you have a high quality website. Schema.org is just something that you put in the code of your website that gives Google a little bit more information about the page, such as this is your logo, these are reviews, et cetera. So it's really important that one, you keep in mind that a template change could affect many pages. And two, if you have rich snippets that are showing up inside of Google, that can kind of change your data a little bit. And we'll talk more about rich snippets and, and click-through rates inside of another video. Okay, so that's it for click-through rates today. I, I recommend that you go in there, you test these things. It's something I look at quite a bit. You know, we've got a couple really high volume traffic pages on the site. Sometimes, you know, I'll go in and, and look at those pages and see if, if they're beneath one or 2% for their click-through rate. That's a red flag to me that I need to be trying to refine that you know, get that in the eight, 10% range, 20% range, because there's so much more traffic that's on the table. Hopefully you learned something today about click-through rates and I uh, can't wait to see you for the next Ignite Visibility University. Have a great day.